buzzing, the turnstiles are clicking, Everest fever has swept across Sydney and captivated the public's imagination. Yes! There's history! The 12 runners will compete for $10 million. The winner earns $5.8 million, equating to $82,000. $860 per sex, 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 sex. Randwick and Caulfield, the Hayes Davenick team is set for a bumper day. Lindsay Park's horses make up a quarter of the Everest field, with Vega Magic, Red Turk Warrior, and Shuler. And in Melbourne, their filly Catchy will try to create a slice of modern day history. Catchy, Catchy got him! Can the Blue Diamond winner Catchy steal victory? Or will the Colts again dominate the race known as the Stallion Maker? Divine Prophet just won it! Today's Caulfield program also boasts the million dollar Caulfield Stakes, the thousand guineas for three year old fillies, and the time on a two act hand. Finding the line they hit it, he's out rocking! So sit back and settle in. We've got front row seats for a sensational day of racing, featuring the inaugural Everest and the Caulfield Guineas. Oh, nothing in that! This is Saturday Arvo Racing. It's an extraordinary day of Saturday Arvo Racing. It's a Royal Ram Week matching up with Caulfield. All that time-wanted racing from Caulfield dating back to the 1880s. Some of the races here date way back too, but we've got one that goes for the very first time. And if you haven't heard about it, it's actually called the Everest, and I'm sure you have, because it's worth $10 million, and it's the richest turf race in the world. And look at the scene behind me. I mean, this is before the first race. Ten races here at Royal Randwick. Already a huge crowd coming in, and we have got a fat... The race card today at Caulfield. The first of 22 stakes races is race number two today. 22 stakes races across three days at Caulfield. It is elite racing. The Thoroughbred Club stakes. And then we get to uh, a sprint over 1,200 metres, Group 3. Herbert Power, interesting from an international point of view and also from a Melbourne Cup and Caulfield Cup point of view. The first of the group ones is the 1,000 guineas. Elise will be a short price favourite. Ladbrokes Caulfield stakes 2,000 metres. Bonneval, the reigning favourite for the Caulfield Cup, goes around there. Caulfield guineas worth $2 million and the Turak handicap is uh, a $6 a field tough handicap. Oh, it's a super day of racing of the year. It is Caulfield guineas day. Full group ones and look at the weather. We have got some of the best horses in the country and speaking of group one quality look who I'm here with Grace Ramage what a day it is an absolutely sensational day and we have a feast of high class gallopers awaiting us for the rest of the day I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the fillies yes. off the track but there is one that's captivated the attention of us all so far and that is catchy going into the Caulfield Kinneys I'm certainly on her side today yeah it is going to be a cracker can't wait and we have beautiful weather. Well, the slot holders went for She Will Rain. Pretty good choice because she's been favourite for a long time. So that makes it quite unique, doesn't it? It sure does because it's like a game of poker for the slot holders. They have to pick whether they're going to pick a good one early or wait for a horse that's in form at the time. And, you know, if they get that wrong, that can be uh, a very expensive mistake. But if you get it right, well, there's $10 million up for grabs. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a real poker. For that, so some real incentives here. 27 scratchings today. It's Sounds a lot, but 18 of them are emergencies. And the feature race, the richest race ever run in Australia, the richest turf race in the world, the Everest, the emergencies don't run there. So the 12 slot holders are all running. So in many ways, these horses today have got two sets of owners, haven't they? They've got their real owners and they've got the slot owners. And between them, they've come up with a deal so that they will split the huge money, $5.8 million.